Hi everyone, welcome to the second video on confusion matrix. In this session, we will learn about how to visualize a confusion matrix of different order. So, how we will achieve our target for this session? First, we will use scikit-learn's make classification where we will create our own data set. And then we will use logistic regression model to predict the classification output. And uh, I will not be explaining about logistic regression that I have a plan in my future videos, but I'll simply use logistic regression to generate the output in order to create the confusion matrix. And then finally, we will use heat map visualization for confusion matrix. So let's start. So what we will, what I will do, this is my uh, logistic regression. I'll be uh, import logistic regression and then from sklearn the data set will create our own classification model. Okay, so when we are creating our model, we can say uh, the number of sample is 10,000 and the number of number of features is equal to 10, which is followed by uh, the features that are random and unrelated to the output class that are the redundant features. And number of informative is nothing but the features that actually predict the output class. Okay, so we have this total number of sample is 10,000 records we will have in our data set and we will have 10 columns or 10 features and we will have three informative features like that actually predict the output class. Then we have uh, the total number of redundant features, right? Which is in our case, we'll make it as five, suppose. And the number of class, the output class, okay, how many? That there are how many output classes? So we'll start with two and then we'll eventually move to towards three, four, five, 10, 15, that depends. And uh, the number of uh, clusters plus classes two and random state is one. If you want more information on this make classification, you can go and check in scikit-learn make classification, you'll get full detail. I'm just using few parameters, but you can get all the parameters detailed. Like you have what all of uh, like parameter you can pass in this function. All these things are there. Okay, so I'm just using few of those, and the rest value will be by default. So what I will do uh, while doing this, I'll execute this, and our make classification is created. Like this is my x features, and these are my labels, which is created. And label will have only two values, zero and one, because I have given here only two values. After this, what I will do, I will simply create the logistic regression function x comma y okay. this is like executed these are all my uh, model details and then what i will do i'll simply predict the value let's go to logic dot predict x okay. okay and then i will so this is my y pred this is the predicted value and this is this is my actual value so we have created our uh, data set and we have used the logistic regression and we have uh, created our output. Now comes the main how we will create our confusion matrix. So we'll simply say if we will import numpy, we'll import matplotlib and we'll import c1. Okay, so we'll execute these three lib four libraries which we have done, uh, which we have uh, imported. Correct. Now after this, what we'll do, I will create our confusion matrix, which scikit-learn will create, but it will be not fancy or it will not be quite uh, attractive. So our main intention is to create a fancy or attractive uh, confusion matrix and visualize what is happening. So it is nothing. Uh, the parameters confusion matrix, you will pass a y, actual y and the predicted y, y pred, okay? My confusion matrix is created. For two by two matrix, this is created value, which we can see here. If we increase the number of class to 3 and we execute this, my matrix will be like this. Now, if I increase the number of class to 10, now you can see here, it says the number of classes into number of cluster plus, uh, per class must be smaller or equal to 2 to the power of informative. So, so number of class into number of cluster is how much? Number of classes, number of classes, what is the number of classes here? Number of classes is 10 and number of cluster plus class is 2 is how much so 10 into 2 is 20 right and 2 to the power of informative informative is how much 3 right which is 8 2 to the power of 3 is 8 so ultimately 20 is greater than so in our case it has to be smaller so what we'll do 
will increase this informative to 5 okay now if we execute this okay it is executed and we will see this is our confusion matrix. 10 by 10 matrix is created okay so this is a simple visualization that sklearn will produce our intention of this session is to create a heat map visualization so that will be very simple so what we'll do we'll create a, uh, like for visualization we'll say access is equals to sns dot heat heat map and then we'll pass our confusion matrix whatever uh, we have created and then we'll say square is equal so these are the default values followed by anode is equals to true i'll show you what each and everything means then fmt is equals to d and followed by c bar is equals to true and again the coloring matters c map is equal to plt dot plt dot will say confusion matrix dot color is up to you whatever color you choose okay so i'll say oh, we'll execute these two lines so this is my 10 by 10 classes but it is not looking good so what i will do now i will simply go and make the number of classes to two and then we will start from there again so this is a two by two class but I uh, looking at this uh, confusion matrix, I don't know what is my labels, what is my features, what is the name of my uh, different classes or what I am predicting. So what we'll do, we'll create a class label. So suppose this is a battle uh, of between the Pepsi and Cola. And so we'll say our class labels is equals to, okay. Now what we'll do for our x axis, we'll set x level. What will be the name of my, what is the actual value? And then what is my predicted value? Now, if I execute this, oh, sorry, this comma, okay. Still uh, my, this Pepsi and, Co Pepsi and Cola, this is not visible because it will take, we have to code further for that. This tick mark here, is at the middle right if you want to change this further here or there you that you can do very easily so i'll say tick mark 0 0.5 means it's at the middle x ticks similarly we'll say for y we'll change here the title of my now if you execute this you can see this pepsi coca cola and confusion matrix a title everything is coming now what is like what if i give here instead of uh, 0 0.5 uh, like for x text okay i'll give 0 0.3 and for y text i'll give 0 0.8 what will happen if i do this now you see the positioning of this pepsi and coca cola is shifted further now if you see in my previous like air uh, image it is at the middle because i have given 0 0.5 the moment you play with this it will go uh, towards left or right based on your x sticks and x labels now what does this rotation means if i give this 30 degrees okay if i give this as 30 degrees then my rotation of my pepsi and coca cola will be shifted if i give it for the 90 degree okay then what will happen you can see for coca cola it has become totally perpendicular while for uh, x axis it's pepsi and coca cola which is still in 30 degrees so for x tix level and uh, x I, I hope you understand this x tix and y tix and x tick level and y uh, tix level now what does a uh, this if i change this okay this is totally blue right now if i want to play with this color so what do you uh, what will i give so if you want to play with the color you can go and see here uh, plt dot cm and then give use choose any color blues right so you give here blues we'll see some more color plt dot okay we'll see brbg okay let's see plt dot brb now we will execute this let's see okay you can see the color has changed right now in this confusion metric if i don't give this fmt is equals to d now what will happen if i execute this fmt means format is equals to decimal okay so it is taking some other if i give it here see value is not printed even even if i remove or make it as false it will not be displayed if i give c bar is equal to false 
then this line which was showing the intensity of the color for the heat map this will be uh, not displayed okay it is displayed now so what if my number of classes is 3 if i execute it now so see pepsi and coca cola right but here as per my number of class labels this is so i add fanta now if i execute this okay so it is added if my number of classes is 10 okay number of classes any whatever i am predicting is 10 if i execute this only for pepsi and coca cola it, it will be displayed now it is being displayed properly here we don't have the values for other all the other fields so we'll say comma x and what we'll do will the rotation here will make 90 degree for x okay so it will be properly uh, properly visible you can see for all the a b c and one more thing we'll so that's how we can use a uh, visualization. We can use Matplotlib uh, num, uh, and Cmon to visualize our confusion matrix. Okay. So this is the end product. So why do we actually uh, like? Uh, why do we need confusion matrix? Well, confusion matrix provide a performance of our learning model. Like in our case, it's a logistic regression. And why do we actually uh, use this uh, heat map? Because whatever visualization provided by the scikit-learn was very simple. And in, in order to make it more fancy, we can use like uh, SNS heat map uh, to visualize our confusion matrix and also it is uh, like wise on our part like to convert into an awesome colorful uh, matrix so it will it helps so thanks a lot for watching this session so before that i want to uh, like just recap what we have learned we have learned uh, how to create the like using uh, make classification uh, we have created our own data set we have used logistic regression to do the prediction and then we have uh, like using the heat map we have created a 2 by 2 confusion matrix 3 by 3 whatever order it's up to you and also i've shown like uh, how you can even uh, do more uh, r&d by going to the sklearn site and you can create our own good data set so that's it for the session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please uh, press the like button and subscribe to this channel and uh, i'll be coming up with a part three where i'll be explaining about uh, true uh, positive true negative how to calculate it mathematically as well as uh, uh, using uh, Python programming. So thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.